Sorry. Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. Tonight we have Shanice on here. She's gonna talk um, just finding your voice and just whatever comes to her heart. I'm super proud of her, I'm excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself and let her take over. Okay, Don Tech Hi guys, Tech Gianna. Okay, hi guys. So um, when Crystal first put it in the chat that she wanted people to lead a Zoom, I was like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna just do it. So I picked the first date, and then I was like, okay, what did I do? So like, fear set in right then. And I was when I first came to this company, I was trying to find my way, trying to find my voice in this company, but I didn't know how to because I was so quiet and reserved and really really shy and I was like okay how do I how do I navigate through this so along my journey I started finding my voice but then I realized that I got stagnated so what came to my heart was um so I started comparing myself to like other people's journey and other people's like you know stories and how they navigate this business and not being like me so comparing kills creativity and I was like okay God so how do I get out of this like how do I how do I move past this and he said to me this is just me I'm always like when I pray this is my conversation with God like how do I move past this how do I how do I get out of this stagnant state he was like when you're finding your voice in yourself you basically it's always been there we just have to activate it so that was my biggest thing. So there's a lot of stuff that's been stagnated in us and that like even my voice, like just doing this is like a big step for me. So like I am, I am ready to go. I know there's so much for this team and Chris is going to have to be able to call on us to be able to go where we want to go. So she's going to be able to be like, hey, I need you to do this and I need you to do that. She needs to have more leaders and I want to be one of those people. And I know that we're going to be like basically the OGs of this company, like, you know, in our in our tribe. So she's going to be have to call on us a lot. And so I was like, now is the time to put that whatever is stagnant in your life, now is the time to activate it. That is basically what I wanted to talk about tonight. Just finding your voice, activating whatever is stagnant in this business. I know that if I'm thinking about Krista, what do I think about? I think that she's a bomb mom. She's always on the go. She's always doing something. If I think about Latisha, I know I can go to go to her whenever I need like a word of wisdom. If I'm looking for like workouts, I'll go to Tiffany, like that, I was like, where do, where do I fit in there? And that's what I, I was navigating, like, where, what do people know me for? So I guess that's what we just all need to figure out our spot, figure out our role and figure out our voice. And you can go ahead, Chris, I'm done. <laughs> no, it's true. Um, a lot of us, it's, it's so easy to compare, especially like she said, when you don't know who you are. And it's not necessarily like a, there's like this thin line between you, you know who you are or who you want to be. And then kind of like trying to show up as that person without, it's easy to be influenced. It's easy to like, I'm okay. I'm here in a t-shirt, but I'm looking at Shanice like, dang, should I put a sweater on? Like, should I put some makeup on? Like, it's easy to be influenced so much in this world when you get on or like today when I sat down to make those fall graphics and stuff I was like these look straight and then I'm you know scrolling on social media or I even went back in our old content chat and stuff it's stuff that either I've made before or somebody else and I'm like oh well they could have been better no why do we do that so I think that that's the biggest thing is honestly just honing in on what what do you like to do what do what do you do every day you know for so long, I didn't know what my branding fives was. It could have been as simple as I'm a sports mom, but did I want to hone in on that? No, I thought that that wasn't good enough. I thought I had to be, you know, this creator or this influencer, or I had to be able to work out and do this stuff and do that like that. It, at the end of the day, you have to just own who you are because the, <laughs> there's a post. I don't know if anybody knows her. But um, it's a girl that I went to school with and I grew up with, but she posted today and she said that um, she's, she's, she used to drive buses. Um, I don't know. I don't think it was like cat buses or whatever, but she used to drive buses and she hasn't done that in a long time. She came home and has been working her own business or whatever. 
um, said that she received a phone call like a week ago and basically, um, I don't remember if it was like the state or whatever, but they called her and was like, Hey, we want you to come back and teach, be a teacher and basically teach other people how to drive buses. And, um, here's just, this would be your salary. This would be a, whatever. And she was like, look, yeah, it sounds good, but you know, I'm running my own business now. I don't know, you know, if, if it doesn't interfere with that, I'm all for it. And they basically like set a salary, set the hours, basically gave her full control. And she was like, wow, you know, I never considered going back to that. And she said, when like God will use your gifts and make space for you. So I need y'all to realize that you may not be the best graphic designer. You may not be the best speaker on a zoom, but what you are good at, he will make room for that. He will bring something out of nothing. He will hone in, you know, like Tisa probably hasn't always known that she can hop on a Zoom or Shivana too, like hop on a Zoom or whatever on Facebook and own who she is and pour into somebody and somebody really need that. Like she may not have known that until social media came around. She may not have had that chance. Like Shanice probably hasn't ever thought, I think one day, like just before this business or anything, I think one day I want to lead a Zoom. That never was a thought across her mind before you step out and do something like this, like before, you know, social media and obviously like Facebook was a thing before I started any type of business like this, but I never thought like, yeah, one day I'm going to do business on Facebook and come home and work from home and do it. Like we don't know until we take those chances. You can't sit on something like maybe you're good at graphics and stuff and you've never tried it or you don't sit down and do it. Maybe you're good at leading Zooms, but you never speak up and do it. Maybe you are an amazing leader, but you never speak up and let somebody hear your voice. Because what are the so many limiting beliefs that we tell ourselves or, you know, that are in our head? Like, you know, I'm afraid to speak because what if nobody wants to hear me? Yes, and like Kiana told me this the other day, she, I don't remember what we were talking about, but she was like, when you speak, people listen. And I was like, oh, do they? Because I don't feel like I have nothing to talk about. But we do that to ourselves. Mommy. Yes. Who's that? Hold on, that's you know who that who is that? Hmm. Yeah. Um, but I think that we just get so caught up in this I'm not enough. How can I be more? What else can I do? I'm not doing enough. I'm not like you. We just try to perform. It's more like when we tell you to stop performing, it's more than just like IPAs and business and stuff. You're performing in your life. If you're cleaning the kitchen and swearing that you're, you like doing that, but you really don't, you're performing. If you're trying to cook 50,000 meals and keep a clean house and, you know, run a business and you're claiming that that's, you're just good at it, but you're really not, it's, it's okay to admit that you don't have to be everything that everybody else is. Y'all, y'all know I struggle with keeping my house clean, keeping my business in check. My kids are over here cussing. Do I want to be like this holy godly woman? It's like, yeah. We don't say cuss word. They heard them from us. Okay. They heard them from us. She flips birds. She does all that. But I don't pretend to be the perfect mom either. Like I can get dolled up and get on here and pour all this mindset crap into you all. But guess what? I struggle with it too. Every single day. Mommy, you say on my um, Shanice, do you have anything else to say? No. Like Anybody else want to say anything? Well, we're just kind of like on any of this. I want to open it up. I feel like somebody wants to say something. I felt like somebody wanted to say something. See? Excuse me. Hold on. I, <laughs> wait a minute, Chris. I'm like sitting here in my robe and everything. I'm like, oh my God, this is recorded. But anyway, so, okay. I want to speak on what you just spoke. Can y'all hear me? I feel like, wait a minute. Okay. So I'm going to speak on what you just spoke on, Krista, only for the simple fact, I feel like it's the stage that I am currently in in my business. Like I just, um, like if two days ago, got um, a job offered to me, which I took part-time and I'm going to tell you why, because in the best thing about this business and this whole finding yourself and your vibe and all of that, it was a choice for me. It wasn't mandatory like I'm fine but this is a good way for me to get ahead if that makes sense like everything that I gain from it is going to be extra and it's not going to interrupt my life at all because it was like well I got to work certain shifts 
so I didn't take the offer until those shifts became available. I um, have got into the habit of everything that I that I do, I have to love it for one, but or I'm not gonna do it. I have to, and then it has to work for me. Like everything that I do that brings me an income now, whether that is Lavelle, that is my baking, that is this job, there's there anything, it it makes room for me. Just like you just said. Okay, I know a ton of bakers, but that doesn't affect my business at all. We know a ton of thrivers, a ton of paparazzi girls and all the things, but it is you that sets you apart from that business. Like that doesn't make or break me in the situation. And I've grown so much into who I am as a person. Like y'all know, I'm a ball of mixed nuts. Like I will preach to you and then be over here yelling and cussing and like, on a whole nother level the next minute. I mean, but that's who I am. And I used to try to hide that. I used to, because my dad's a pastor. So I was a walking statistic from the jump. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, she's the wild one just because I'm a PK kid. And I'm just like, really? Like I read books. I'm sort of kind of a nerd if you really knew me, like whatever. But you know, you don't put yourself in the box. Don't allow other people to put yourself in the box. Because if I had a stayed in that mind frame and in, the stage that I was in when I came into this business, I would have still been there. I'm like, I never thought I would be in a stage in life where I, my options were my own. I can take it or leave it. I can do what I want to do or I cannot do that, you know? So I just agree with you, Shanice. I agree with you, Krista, with owning who you are and just stepping into it, whether it is this business or the next business, you can use one business to open yourself up for the next business, if that makes sense. Like, this can change your life and not just your career, your financial, your all of the things. It changes you literally as a person because it literally changed me. So that's all. Does anyone else have anything they want to share? Can I say something, Krista? Okay, so um, like, it, like what Siobhan was just talking about. So everybody was like anticipating me doing these shoes for Gigi's party. Like I've gotten five different orders for to do like custom converses just because I showed them on you know my social media like we have a powerful platform guys use it use it use it like I never knew I would be at this point like my parents they they look at me they're like you're a whole different person just the way you talk this way you walk this way you carry yourself like you know who you are and like my we were talking about Gianna started school first of all that's like so far away and I was like well I want her to go here and daddy's like oh that's gonna be expensive I was like it don't matter I said I'll figure it out and he was just like like looking at me because I wasn't that type of person I'm I was like oh you're right well maybe no this is where I want her to go this is what I want her to do it's just my confidence is different like finding your voice is different when you like activate that and I've always been sat back and pushed it like pushed to the side when it came to um, just being myself because I didn't know how to. But now that I have, it's like people are like, you know, they look at you different because you move different. But if you want different, you've got to move different. So that's the mindset and the state that I am like right now. Okay. Sorry, I'm taking Dave's hair down. It's fine. We multitask Hi. over here. But um, I agree. I think that we've all, I know, and I know I will say this until I'm blue in the face. I swear we talk about this every training, but we've been in this season. And I told y'all on this, on last, was it Friday or the Friday? Before, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, it was last Friday. We're done with it. We're past it. We're breaking through. I don't know how. I don't know what's about to happen, but I'm claiming Time it. Up. And, I can't do nothing with them I swear but we're we're going through it we're going straight through it we're done with I'm not claiming any more sickness I'm not claiming any more obstacles of course they'll happen it's life but I'm claiming breakthrough I don't even know what else to call it it's time to break through it's time to stop complaining and being negative and saying you know well I'm just in this season it's time to get past the season it's time for a new season we're in the fourth quarter of this year and I'll be damned if this quarter isn't like the last three like it's just not gonna be I'm claiming that and I hope you all do too it's time to wake up own who you are 
I don't care what you do. I don't care if you get on your social media and you're cussing 24 seven and you have, I don't, I don't know what you do or what you are, but that you, that's you, you know, I'm never here to tell you do a certain thing. Don't do politics. Don't do this. Be a certain way, whatever. Do you, that's absolutely what I want you to do. 100% business aside. I don't, y'all know, I don't care. I want you to be successful in life. Like, I don't care if you do this business or not. I just want you to wake up and own who you are and show your children the same thing that they're allowed to do that. They're allowed to break through. They're not going to stay in this season. And that's another thing I'm done with our kids seeing us struggle because even if you try to hide it, they know, they know, they feel it all. They see it all. We're done with it. We're breaking through. We're walking through the door. It's a whole new room because he's making new rooms, right? So anybody else have anything else to share? That's all I wanted to say. Short and sweet. That's how we always keep it right. My so let's claim it. Let's walk into no, our new season. This is the last season of this year before we walk into a whole new year. And yeah, happy Tuesday. Let's finish rocking out this promo this week, this, all the things. Let's run it. I mean, who's, why is anyone on this Zoom not worthy? of double and triple fast starts. Why are you not worthy of enrolling five to 10 customers with this? She's dumping her toy box at nine o'clock at night. Why are you not worthy of owning everything that they have on the table right now? Who's to say that you can't be the number one top PPA enroller? The only person telling you that is yourself. Your brain, your mind is the only thing telling you that. So block it out and do what you do. Show up and be you. That's all that you can do. It's good enough. You're good enough. So make it happen. Night, y'all. Love y'all. Night. Yeah.